we really get to occupy the way we're supposed to be occupying, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jesus will do the best of both worlds. Yes. He will give us the desires of our heart right here on earth yes. and at the same time prepare us for his coming. Mm -hmm. Now, folks, uh, 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 we're going to get into this more and more because, see, when we understand this, then uh, that right there creates an, a, 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 an atmosphere of urgency. Because what it tells you is this. You and I will never, I want you to understand this. See, what's, what, let me just say this before I say that. The hardest job in the church is the job of the person ministry's director. Because the person ministry's director job is to get everybody, I said everybody, in the church, doing the work that God has called us to do. Mm -hmm. Really, in this room sits a lot of power. Power that has yet been untapped. Because when the laity, as we so call it, when the members of the church, I call them ministers, we have different ministries, and we're going to see that more and more as we get into this. Uh, when the laity gets involved in ministry, we're going home, folks. Amen. And you have the job to get the laity involved. The person ministry leader has the most, I, I don't want to do this to go to your head, but the truth of the matter is, and you'll see more and more, you have the most powerful position in the church. And oftentimes we think it's the, not the most powerful and the least desired because it is the hardest job to get the saints out the seats and, I, I don't, and, and, and actively involved. Now, we talked about creating a sense of urgency. You cannot create a sense of urgency if you don't involve these two elements. We have always tied the work of ministry to the sweet by and by. And we have not shown how it blesses us in the sweet, in the bitter here now. That's why you can't get young people involved because they're busy trying to find, to to really live their dream. You know, they say, well, yes, good, but right now I'm trying to get ahead. I want to, I want to realize the desires of my heart. See. The devil hates this scripture because you know, I know when I first said it, they said, well, what does that have to do with personal ministry? It has everything to do with it. Because it shows us the power of personal ministry. It tells you you will never get the desires of your heart unless you get involved in it. Mm 